so yeah, man, I met Tech G about like two years ago, two and a half years ago. Like you said, I didn't know much, but I was just tired of like living in the, uh, you know, living in the hood, man. All right, what's up, Demetrius? Hey. So this is Demetrius. These are my students. We got Zakiba here with the with the afro going on. And then we got our man Chris up here. So these are some students that found me by way of YouTube. They're learning tech. Zakiba, he already passed his A plus hardware and he started working in tech and now he's getting prepared to go take his software test. And then my man Chris up here with the glasses on, he's brand new to tech, kind of just like you, didn't know much about tech beyond just casually using a computer. He's uh, getting well versed in this and we're trying to get him prepared to pass his A plus hardware so then he can hopefully go on and pass his software. Demetrius, this is an actual student that I know in real life about two and a half years ago he really didn't know much about IT. So without any further ado, uh, Demetrius, just go ahead and uh, give your name, your background story, and you know, tell us you know, how you out there just holding up money phones every other day, man. <laughs> so, hey, what's up, uh, Zakiba, Chris? So, yeah, man, I met Tech G about like two years ago, two and a half years ago. Like I said, I didn't know much. But I was just tired of like living in the, uh, you know, living in the hood, man. I know I didn't want to go to college, at least not right now. So I was like, okay, what are my outlets? Like, how can I get out of, I always knew I was like a, a decent guy. I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but if I have an instructor that's willing to teach me and sit down with me, then I could learn just like, like tech G. And that's exactly what I did. So I had the desire to get out of pretty much the hood. And now I'm here in Arizona. It's pretty peaceful, quiet. I started with the A plus Chris. It was challenging at first, but once you get in the habit of like reading and studying and then taking tests, you get good at it. I think right now I have like 10 certs that sounds like a lot but i think if you sit down and study especially with a teacher like tech g you could do it easily so what were you doing before you actually got into tech so i had two jobs i had one job at walmart and it wasn't just walmart but it was the like hood walmart like you know what i'm talking about tech g right there in mercy drive it was mm. the hood i was there i was making like 12 bucks or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I applied to Publix and I thought this is the biggest upgrade of my life at the time. I went from a Walmart employee to Publix doing the deli for like 13. I was like, oh, a dollar raise, man. I'm, I'm making it big out here. Man, the deli, they get hectic back there. Fast pace. I don't know if you guys have a uh, Publix out there in Texas, Chris, but uh, here, them chicken subs, lines out the door yeah so that's what i was doing Cut pretty much customer service retail before i met tech g what actually sparked your interest and wanted to get into tech so yeah i wanted the opportunity i i want to get out of my environment i think i already told you tech g but for uh chris i just want to get out of the hood i tried to go military couldn't go because of six cell trait so i was like okay that's not gonna work right. and then i found about the technical program i got a pretty much like a grant to go attend school for free so i'm like okay i get to learn for free and i just make the most out of my opportunity because i really want to I wanted something better for my life. That what motivated me to study so hard. And I don't even say hard, just diligently, you know? Since you've been working in tech, how long has it been now? About two and a half years or something like that? Yeah, that sounds about right. So... What certifications do you actually have? Or what were the first uh, ones that you actually acquired prior to you getting your first job? Prior to me getting my first job, I got the A plus. That was my bread and butter right there. I got the A plus and then I landed a job at the hospital, you know, Advent Health, landed that job. But while I was there during my downtime, I didn't settle. I just kept studying. I got the network plus. And then after I got the network plus, you was telling me about security plus for government jobs. And that's something, you know, I always wanted to do. So I got that security plus. Yeah. So I got the tri right there. Then I got some Linux stuff and then I got some some cloud stuff as well and AI. And you did all this in two and a half years. Yes. I had a question. So when you were in the hospital doing with the A plus, how long did it take for you to master or at least pass the test for network and security during that time? So uh, if you want me to, I could look on uh, my page right now and give you the exact months, but it, it took me like probably like four or five months. And like during my lunchtime, during my breaks, I would study like the other uh, contractors, they would work, not work, but they would like talk and chat and stuff. But I was like right there on my phone with flashcards. I think at one point I was spamming Tech G. I was like, you know, spamming him. But uh, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm, shoot, if you tell me, you go help. I'm going to max out. Yeah, that's what I did as a Cuba. I want to say about like four or five months. And that's pretty much all I was doing because I really wanted to uh, do something better with my life. So. And now I'm here. So. And 
a follow up. So after you finish those two, how fast was the ramp up? So you, you were doing a hospital, you're learning everything. Four or five months later, you know, you get all the search that you need. What happened after you applied just in general? So like, you know, all right, I want to, what's the next step? Cause I got everything I need and you just smiling and everything. All right. So how do we get to the next level? You know, what was okay. that like? That's an amazing question. So for me, it depends on the quality of job you want. So for me, I wanted something big. So from that hospital job in Orlando, I, that's where I was at in Orlando. We had like a lot of medium sized businesses, a lot of like maybe like retailers that needed IT people, but I wanted something big. So I, I took my time out. I'm a single guy. I don't have any kids. I don't have really any family. So I was fortunate enough and I was living with my grand at the time. So I was fortunate enough just to take that time and uh, wait for my next big opportunity. So you said how long it took? Probably like another five months to get like a government because I wanted to work in government. So to get a government position that I felt comfortable with. And I don't know what you're looking for as a keeper, but if you're content with just like a medium or like retailer coming in just to get the experience, then I could have got a job right away, but I wanted I wanted something big. So I could say I got experience with our education uh, system as an intern. I got experience working in a healthcare field at the hospital and now for the government. So I think that makes for a nice resume, in my opinion. 